It's not just about that individual doing good, but it's about us coming together to do great. <laughs> This is uh, underscores how we can come together and do great things. So I look forward to serving uh, my state, look forward to serving my communities on how we can shine the light on you know incredible nonprofit organizations, arts education programs all over the state. Yo, what up everybody? This is your man, Ime Alaquiva, and you are watching New Pittsburgh Courier TV. What? In 2014, I did a special proclamation recognizing the talent of Ime. Uh, recognizing the recognition that you've been getting around the country, because sometimes your own hometown doesn't recognize talent the way that the rest of the country or the world does. But today I'm here to... I come very proud. Now this is not a proclamation. This is uh, because when you do for Pittsburgh. And it's to recognize the person. Because this is a really special guy who cares about this community with all of his heart and actually gives his talent and his time in order to make it better. And if we look around, we can point out and see all the challenges we have in this city. We know we need more mentors like this in order to be able to make solutions. So, I, William Pudo, Mayor of the City of Pittsburgh, wish to thank and recognize Ime Alequiva for your years of selfless service to the people of Pittsburgh. Your story is truly one of inspiration, using your own difficulties and hardships to help and inspire others. Thank you for your continued leadership and dedication to the city of Pittsburgh. We are so elated, we are proud, and we are honored to be standing here with Ime and your mom's house at this illustrious event. We've seen you grow from a small business to a budding, nationally recognized industry and entertainment figure. And so we want to congratulate you tonight. We want to let everyone know we're open for business. Thank you. I'm standing here right now on the cover of Black Enterprise representing the city of Pittsburgh. So when they talk about that they can't do it because they come from broken families, drug infested communities, and everything else, I'll tell them, you know about my man e -Man? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Cheer, 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 cheer. Um, before I utter the first sentence of a thank you, I want to take this time to recognize the hero that took every cell in her body, regardless of the adversity, to raise a young black boy, and that's my mother, yeah. Mom Boots. Yeah. She's over here sitting down. Yeah. I'm sorry, that is the true champion of this happy hour, is my mom. Um, I also want to give a uh, first shout 
uh, to my beautiful wife yeah. for dealing with yeah. Honey, raise your hand, raise your hand up. I know you're recording. But we don't recognize the women in our lives as much as we should. Because we might be the strong men, you know, that goes out there every single day, but there's nothing like a strong woman pushing him to be great. So I just want to recognize my wife. I love you to pieces. If you heard the interview, everybody in this room is born with a cliff that God gives us. We could stand on top of that cliff and look over it for the rest of our lives and be scared to jump off into our dreams. Or we can take that leap off the cliff and allow God to be our parachute. That's what I did. When I was walking around the streets of Pittsburgh, asking for change with a 7-Eleven cup, sleeping in the crevices of Oakland, going to Jubilee Kitchen and Rainbow Kitchen to try to get food, people that I went to school with, hey, how you doing, Ime? Oh, I'm good, I'm straight. I let pride get in the way. But when I let that pride go, and when I look over that cliff and see, hey, listen, you only got one life to live. Do what you love tomorrow. Spend an hour each day towards your dream until you reach it. That's what I did. So I thank everybody in this room and abroad for where I am today. And just because I'm here, that doesn't mean the price goes up. The price stays the same. I'm just doubling up on the quality for my community. That's what it is. Hip hop saved my life. I'm going to continue to go to Harrisburg tomorrow to get sworn in. I will figure out how to spend the rest of my life changing others, because that's the best investment. Thank you for investing in me.